Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving deep into a topic that I know many of you are incredibly interested in, creating and publishing your own coloring books on Amazon KDP. If you've ever tried this, you know the biggest hurdles aren't always about creating the art itself. It's the technical, time-consuming, and often frustrating process of formatting everything correctly for Amazon's print-on-demand service. You spend hours creating beautiful images only to get bogged down in resizing dozens of files, converting them to the right DPI, ensuring the dimensions are perfect for KDP's trim sizes, and then manually compiling them into a print-ready manuscript. It's a workflow killer. What if you could eliminate 90% of that manual labor? What if you could go from a folder of your favorite photos to a fully formatted KDP-ready manuscript in a fraction of the time? That's exactly what we're going to cover today. I'm going to show you the complete end-to-end -end workflow using Artistly 6.0 to transform your personal photos into a professional coloring book, fully optimized and ready for upload to KDP. We'll cover everything from selecting the right source images to converting them into stunning coloring pages. And most importantly, using the powerful bulk processing features to format everything perfectly for print. Before we even touch the coloring page conversion feature, we need to talk about the foundation of your entire book, the source images. The quality of your final coloring pages is directly, and I mean directly dependent on the quality of the photos you start with. It's that old saying, garbage in, garbage out. So, what makes a good source photo for a coloring book? First, think about clarity and subject focus. An ideal photo has a clear, well-defined subject. This could be a pet, a person, a car, a building, or a flower. Photos where the subject is blurry, too far away, or cluttered with a very busy background, well, those can be challenging for the AI to interpret into clean lines. What you want are strong outlines, and that all starts with a strong subject. Second, you need to consider contrast. Photos with good, strong contrast between the subject and the background, they just tend to produce better results. For example, if your black dog is sitting in a dark shadow, the AI might struggle to separate the details. <laughs> but a light-colored cat on a dark sofa now that provides a clear distinction for the AI to trace. Third, and this is a key point, detail is your friend, but complexity can be your enemy. A photo of a detailed flower petal, that will translate beautifully into intricate, wonderful coloring lines. A photo of a dense forest though, with thousands of overlapping leaves, that might just become a chaotic mess of lines. You have to look for that balance. You want enough detail to make the page interesting, but not so much that it becomes overwhelming and loses its form. Now, when it comes to sourcing your images, you have two primary options. The first, and my personal favorite, is using your own photography. This is absolutely the best route for creating something truly unique and personal. Think about it. Your travel photos, pictures of your pets, family portraits, or even shots of your favorite hobbies. This is your chance to turn your actual memories into a monetizable product or just a deeply personal gift. But what if you don't have a library of high quality photos? That's perfectly fine. In fact, that's where Artistly's own AI image designer comes in. You can generate completely unique royalty-free images to use as the foundation for your book. For example, you could go to the photorealism model and prompt something like, a photorealistic close-up of a majestic lion, high detail, sharp focus. Generate a few options, pick the best one, and just like that, you have a perfect source image. You could build an entire book around a single theme, like jungle animals or fantasy castles, by generating all your images right inside Artistly. This is a fantastic way to ensure a consistent style and quality across your entire book. <clears throat> now. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to assume you have a folder of about 20 to 30 photos you're ready to use. Please, make sure they are of the highest resolution possible before you begin. Remember, the higher the input quality, the better the output quality will be. Once you have your source images selected, it's time for the magic. We're going to convert these photos into crisp, clean coloring pages. Inside Artistly, 
navigate to the AI Design Assistant and find the Photo to Coloring Page feature. The process is incredibly straightforward. First, you'll click Choose from Library and upload one of your photos. Let's start with a picture of a classic car I have here. Okay. Once it's uploaded, you'll see an option to select the dimension or aspect ratio. By default, it might be set to original, but this is where you can make some powerful choices. So why would you change this? Imagine you have a beautiful wide landscape photo, but your coloring book is a standard vertical format like 8.5 by 11 inches. If you convert the whole wide image, you'll either end up with a small image with large white bars on the top and bottom of your page, or you'll have to crop it later, potentially losing control over the final look. By choosing the proper size here, you can dictate the exact framing of the coloring page from the very beginning. Let's walk through it. Let's assume I've just uploaded a landscape photo. My book is going to be a vertical portrait style book. Instead of keeping the original wide aspect ratio, I'm going to click on the dimensions dropdown. You'll see several common presets like one to one square, four to five portrait, or 16 to nine widescreen. For a standard coloring book, a vertical aspect ratio is best. The four to five ratio is an excellent choice as it's very close to the proportions of an 8.5 by 11 inch page. All right, go ahead and click Generate. In just a few moments, the AI will analyze your photo, extract the key lines and details, and transform it into a black and white outline image. Now, take a look at the result. Notice the thick, clean borders and how it preserved the important details. This is what makes a high-quality coloring page. Now, it's really important to experiment. Not every photo is going to convert perfectly on the first try. If you don't quite like the result, just click Generate again. Sometimes the AI will offer a slightly different interpretation of the lines that might be exactly what you were looking for. If an image consistently produces poor results though, it's likely a problem with the source photo itself. Maybe it's too low contrast, or as we talked about, just too cluttered. In that case, you have two choices. Either try editing the photo to enhance its clarity, or honestly, just set it aside and choose a different one. The goal is to build a collection of consistently high quality coloring pages. So go through this process for all 20 or 30 of your chosen images. Upload, convert, check the quality, and save the successful ones. You'll be surprised how quickly you can build a substantial library of pages. And remember, this manual one-by-one -one process is just for the creative approval stage. Once you're happy with all the converted images and they're saved in your library, it's time to prepare them for the real world of print publishing. All right, this next step is where Artistly 6.0 is going to save you countless hours of tedious work. This is what separates a frustrating manual process from a streamlined, professional workflow. We're going to use the Bulk Actions feature to format every single one of our new coloring pages for KDP's exact print specifications all at once. <clears throat> First, navigate to the Bulk Actions section in your dashboard. Then, click on New Action. This will open up a panel where you can select the images you want to process. Go ahead and select all the coloring page images you just created. Now, let's configure the settings. This is the most critical part, so let's go through it carefully. You'll see several options. Next, and this is non-negotiable, we absolutely must address the DPI. KDP will flag your book or produce low-quality prints if your files are not set to 300 DPI. So in the Bulk Actions panel, simply check the box that says Convert to 300 DPI. That's it. This automatically embeds the correct information into the files, ensuring they are recognized as high resolution and ready for print. Finally, let's look at the upscale option. Think of this as the final polish. This feature uses AI to increase the image resolution, making the lines even crisper and cleaner. Perfect. 
Now, just give your bulk action a name. Something like KDP coloring book pages is great. And click build. Artistly will now get to work, processing your entire batch of images in the cloud. This might take a few minutes depending on how many images you have, so feel free to grab a coffee. Once it's done, you can download a single zip file containing all of your perfectly formatted KDP-ready coloring pages. And that's it. You've just done hours of manual Photoshop work with a few clicks. Part four, assembling your print-ready manuscript. All right, you have that folder of perfectly formatted image files, which means we're on the final step, compiling them into a single PDF manuscript to upload to KDP. You can use any program you're comfortable with, Microsoft Word, Google Docs, you name it. But for this example, we'll use Canva as it's free and very intuitive. Once you're in Canva, create a new custom design. Now, pause here. This next part is crucial, so let's get it right from the start. Change the units from pixels to inches. Then, enter 8.5 for the width and 11 for the height. This creates a perfect canvas that exactly matches your image dimensions. Okay, let's build your book. Quick pro tip, your first page shouldn't be a coloring page. A great coloring book starts with a title page or maybe one of those this book belongs to pages. You can design this very easily in Canva with some nice text and borders. After your title page, go ahead and add a new blank page. Now for the satisfying part. Simply drag and drop your first formatted coloring page from the folder you downloaded. You'll see it snap perfectly to fill the entire page. That's because we already did the hard work of sizing it correctly. Continue this simple pattern, adding a page, dragging in your next image, adding a blank page, until you've included all of your images. Once all your pages are laid out in the correct order, there's just one last action to take. We need to download the file in the correct format for KDP. In Canva, go to Share, then Download. Now, for the file type, and this is essential, you must select PDF Print. A standard PDF is for web and will be lower quality, but PDF Print ensures it maintains the high resolution and 300 dpi quality that printing requires. Go ahead and click Download. And there you have it, a single, complete, print-ready PDF manuscript of your entire coloring book. That's it. The interior of your book is 100% complete and ready to be uploaded to your KDP dashboard. <laughs> your manuscript is ready, but you still need a cover that grabs attention. A black and white cover for a coloring book usually doesn't sell well. You need a vibrant, colored example of what's inside. And you guessed it, Artistly can help you with this too. Go back to your library of black and white coloring pages. I want you to pick one of your absolute best designs, the one you think is the most appealing or the one that truly represents your book's theme. Now, head back to the AI Design Assistant and find the Colorify Pages feature. Upload that single black and white coloring page you chose. Then, with a single click, the AI will intelligently color the page for you, creating a beautiful, fully rendered version of your line art. This colored image is the perfect asset for your book cover. You can download this colored version, which will also be high resolution, and then in the KDP cover creator or back in Canva, you can use this image as the centerpiece of your cover design. So that's it. The process of creating a print-ready coloring book, which used to involve multiple software and hours of tedious technical work has now been condensed into a single, streamlined workflow within one tool. Artistly 6.0 handles the heavy lifting. So, that's it. The process of creating a print-ready coloring book, which used to involve multiple software and hours of tedious technical work, 
has now been condensed into a single, streamlined workflow within one tool. Artistly 6.0 handles the heavy lifting, freeing you up to focus on the creative aspects of your book. Thank you so much for watching.